Hello, this is the new Tanda of the Week. Now you may be familiar with the expression in tango as in life, but this week, la vida es una milonga. Hi and welcome to our channel Tango Music Tutorials. If you like this video, then please click the like button and you can also subscribe to our channel, of course. Thank you. Pedro Lawrence was born in the barrio of La Boca, Buenos Aires, in 1902, and he's considered to be one of the best Pandemion players in tango history. A gentleman who played with Julio de Caro and Pedro Mafia in the 1920s, and who started his own orchestra in the 1930s. His most famous recordings are from the years 1937-47, more or less the golden decade of tango. Pedro Lawrence was an important orchestra leader and composer in the so-called evolutionary school of tango, associated with Julio de Caro, Osvaldo Pugliese and Alfredo Gobbi. In the 1960s he formed the Quinteto Real together with Horacio Solgan, Enrique Francini, Rafael Ferro and Ubaldo de Leo. Pedro Lawrence recorded some famous tangos like the groundbreaking Arabal in 1937 and for instance like Recien with Alberto Podesta, as well as some lovely waltzes, but this week's standa highlights his milongas. The milonga has a punchy rhythm based on the 2x4 or habanera rhythm. Pedro Lawrence manages to make his milongas both punchy and smooth at the same time with his arrangements. The first track of this standa is Milonga de Mis Amores. Pedro Lorenz wrote the music himself and he recorded this track three times. First with singer Hector Farel in 1937, with lyrics by José María Contursi, but this is the instrumental version from 1944. It's just slightly faster and it fits the tanda a bit better, I think. And make sure you don't miss the bandoneon variation. Then we have a La Vida es una milonga, very much like an anthem from 1941. Music by Fernando Montoni and lyrics by Rodolfo Schiamareja. Sung by Fidel Martin Carucci, or as we know him, Martin Podesta not related to the much more famous Alberto Podesta, who joined Lorenz's orchestra in 1943. Martin Podesta recorded just a few tracks with Lorenz, uh, two tangos, one waltz and one milonga. But La Vida es una milonga is a brilliant track, there's so much to enjoy, whether you dance or listen to it. The melodies and syncopations by the Bononions the violins that are used both for the rhythm and for the melody and counter melody, the sparkling piano played by Hector Granet. There's so much going on, but without any exaggeration, it's a really clever arrangement. The final track of the tanda is Milonga Compadre, recorded in 1938. Music by José Mastro, or Mastro Pietro, and lyrics by Carlos Bar. This is the only song by bandoneon player José Mastro that is known to have been recorded. Milonga Compadre is sung by Juan Carlos Casas, who joined Lawrence in 1938 and stayed with him until the end of 1942. It is a fun track to end the tanda with, full of powerful bandoneons and playful piano. So that's the Milonga Tanda for this week. Milonga de Mis Amores. La Vida es una milonga with Martín Podesta and Milonga Compadre with Juan Carlos Casas. Enjoy! <laughs> Thank you.
todo el mundo está esperando mejorar su situación todos viven suspirando con razón o sin razón todo el mundo se lamenta si en las buenas ya no está nadie aguanta la tormenta si la contra se le da la vida es una milonga y hay que saberla bailar que en la pista está sobrando el que pierde su compás la vida es una milonga y hay que saberla bailar porque es triste estar sentado mientras bailan los demás.